This is Night Fury, the motley golden child reticulated python that has this amazing iridescent shimmer. It literally looks like a rainbow snake. Before we get into what makes this animal look so rainbow-like, I want to talk about an absolutely legendary creature called the rainbow snake. It's actually believed in the aboriginal world to be one of the most incredible things. It's actually considered the creator god. The rainbow snake in the aboriginal mythology creates land and diversity for the people, but when anger can create Great, great chaos. Although we think of color as a visual phenomenon, with the exceptions of bioluminescence, all animal colorations are actually produced by two mechanisms. Number one is pigment, and the way that proteins interact with light to produce color. Basically, in snakes, you have three pigments. You have xanthophore, you have iridophore, and you have melanin, which is red, yellow, or black. And the combinations thereof is what basically makes the animals the colors that they are, or the color that you see them. The second would actually be structure. And this is a great example where Joker the scale is Texas rat snake. When you take away the structure of the scales, it actually changes the way the pigment looks completely. Now, this animal in the wild would almost look gray with a little bit of hint of red, just basically bleeding through. Yeah, with scaleless, you can see it's predominantly this kind of pinkish red color with a little bit of gray. This animal is exhibiting all three of the pigments, which is yellow, black, and red. But primarily, you have the grayish color, which is the black or melanin. You have the reddish color, which is the iridophore. And then you have little hints of xanthophore, which is the yellow pigment. And fell it. Um, we are playing a game. We're playing a game? You want to go play a game, apparently? No. That sucks. Come on. Blindfold yourself. Perfect. I'm going to bring a snake. Three two finger touches. Three. Scout's honor. Oh, I oh, let me see. Your... Ugh, disgusting. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Three two finger touches, and you have to tell me what snake it is. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Yeah. What do we win if we get it right? This rainbow. Wow. Can I keep your jacket? No. You look like Count Rambucula. Wow. All right, guys, blindfolds. So the first snake we're going to do, Tiger Lily. Rainbow Brazilian boa. All right, you guys blinded? Yeah, dude. Reach your hand out. That Two fingers. Grip. Two fingers. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember your scout's on I forgot. Hey, who's going? Anybody. OK. Oh, that's one. I Ugh, say. That was gross. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. All right, one I more, have, Mike. I have an idea. I have no idea. All right, I think I, I think I got it. Three, two, one. Yes. Is it, is it, is it that one boa IMG? Rainbow. I think it's uh, Tiger Lily. Is Cheater. It? Did I get it? Yeah. Yes! That's like would have been my like. I honest, I didn't cheat at all. Here, take this rainbow. I like how it looks. I feel like Thor. Blindfolds. Rainbow snake is considered a giver of life because of its association with water, but can cause great destruction if anger. Iridescence is actually the interaction of light and the actual scales that you see. Hence the reason why scaleless snakes look so different than scaled ones. What's really interesting is when you pit Night Fury, the jet black snake, against a Mexican black king that's also a jet black snake, they don't look exactly the same. The Mexican black king actually doesn't have the iridescence. It definitely has a shine to it, but not the iridescence that Night Fury has. Meaning that the Mexican Black King must be missing the nano structures that actually causes the iridescence to go through. Again, you can see the sheen in it, but you won't get that rainbow effect. Iridescence is a visual characteristic which changes color with the difference of viewing angles. Where are you guys at? I gotta tell you something real quick. This is crazy. I saw in the news that a, a truck that was carrying almonds collided with a truck that was carrying glitter, and that the glitter and almonds were all over the road. And all I could think of is that's pretty nuts. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought it was serious. It's getting really hot in here. So much body on this Bugatti. Next we're doing Bugatti. Me first? Two fingers. All right. That's a really long touch. Can I have the belly scale? <laughs> my brain is melted. I 100% know who this is. All right, Mike knows. You want a belly touch? <laughs> All right. Do you want yeah. your third touch? I don't need it. Oh, wow. Top. He's going in. OK, I know what it is. Three, two, one. Bugatti. Bugatti. How did you know, Connie? Because I know masks. You're so pretty, little guy. Nope. Oh, your two touches done. Yeah. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Masks. Ah! <laughs> Stay on! You can't talk about iridescent snakes without talking about Brazilian rainbow boas. Obviously, their name is rainbow boa. And the reason they're called rainbow boas is the same thing. They have this amazing iridescence to them. The Colombians will have it as well. Not as extreme as the Brazilians, though. It's a beautiful snake, and there's no doubt that the rainbow sheen is incredible on this one. Now, one of the things that's really interesting is sometimes when you get into mutations, it actually takes away the iridescence. We saw how beautiful the iridescence was on a Brazilian rainbow. When you get into the albinos, it's the same animal, but it doesn't 
doesn't have the iridescence to it. It's just really flat. It's kind of interesting how you take away some pigment. In this case, you're taking away the melanin, and that melanin actually is what is refracting the light and causing that rainbow sheen. And the same goes for the leucistic, which is lacking all of the pigment, So right? basically, leucism is lacking all the red, the yellow, and black pigment, making it just a solid white snake. But as you can see, there is absolutely no rainbow effect at all on this snake. Huh. Speaking of rainbow sheen, the word iridescence is actually associated with the Latin and Greek term iris and is also associated with the Greek god Iris, who is the personification of rainbow and the messengers to the gods. We're doing a little too good, so we gotta jazz it up a little bit. Diamonds are rainbow. Diamonds are forever. Is that why you get married with diamonds? Because they're it's a forever. Snake's here, who's going first? Both first. Hey. Slow down. She's taking steps and everything. Oh, Hand out. I know this one. Can I go again? No! no. Wait, back, back up! Back, back oh. up! I can't, I'm not even moving. You guys She's gonna cheat, because she's so car. Uh, whoa, whoa. No curling of the fingers. Where? Right here. Hey! <laughs> Where's hey. the snake? <laughs> yeah, this is a very uncomfortable challenge. That's enough. I don't even know how many touches that was. Just guess. Ice Cube. Nope. Nope. Wrong Neo. One. Nah, screw it. I'll go with Ice Cube. Ice Cube. This is named Ice Cube? Oh, 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 oh! That's how it's done! Another I feel rainbow. Like he got more touches than. Did he get more touches than me? Oh, here you go. Blindfold. <laughs> oh, there's another one? That we were done. I thought I just won. Of course, Night Fury is a color mutation that's called a Motley Golden Child, and he's much more iridescent than a normal reticulated python. Similarly, the same thing goes for this animal here, which is a boa constrictor, but it's an IMG, or what they call increasing melanin gene, and you can see the iridescence on this guy way more iridescent than a normal common boa. Whereas you can see with cupcake, the normal common Colombian boa, it really doesn't have that rainbow. A little bit down by the tail. You can see right down here, you can see a little sheen, but the rest of the body, you don't see much of it. Sometimes in the little bit in the scale, here, but it doesn't have that extreme rainbow sheen that of course the IMG boa has. I have to sit through another one of these stupid jokes. Hey, did you guys know that rainbows are always on the top of their class? Because they pass with flying colors. Oh, That's wow. good. That's good. That's a good one. Interestingly enough, Bugatti the Bolens Python is a jet black snake, just like Night Fury. But the colors are coming through different in that rainbow. For whatever reason, there must be a different structure with those nanostructures that causes the light to refract slightly differently. Instead of being like the kind of blues and yellows, it turns more like dark blues and even purples. Really interesting how different those two snakes can be when they have a similar structure when it comes to scalation. But for whatever reason, the Bolens Python, in my opinion, the most beautiful iridescent snake on the planet. Iridescence is generated by interactions of light and biological tissues that are nanostructures to produce thin films or diffraction gradients. Lucky? That would be funny. They are not expecting Lucky right now. They're, this is a fun little challenge. Rainbows being thrown at them. Now they're gonna get bitten. All right guys, we're here. Two fingers out. Come on, where's this thing? Here. That's a, is that the face? Ah! No, you <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. Why are you looking like that? You know he was gonna bite. No, Watch out, Jay's gonna bite you. I didn't expect him to bite you. What do you mean? <laughs> it's lucky. I just thought it was a skinny snake. Was it exhilarating? Yeah. How many stitches do you think? Um, like at least 17. All right, rainbows, guys. Yay. Thanks. Perfect. Interestingly enough, the iridescence and shimmer of snakes causes one of the most common misconceptions of all snakes. And we've all heard that when a person doesn't know anything about snakes, the first thing they say is that snakes are slimy. Well, obviously that's not the case. It again is the way that that light refracts, the iridescence, the shimmer of snakes. It causes them to look like they're wet and slimy. They're very dry and very leathery feeling. So that in itself is a learning experience so that you could tell people that the sliminess actually comes from the iridescence and shimmer. Neo is a perfect perfect example of what I'm talking about color and how it can refract into iridescence and the lack of color actually doesn't have iridescence of course she's a motley golden child pied reticulated python so she's the same genetics right here as night fury you can see that unbelievable iridescence in the black pigment but then when you get into the white part of her there's no iridescence at all I mean she is an absolutely ripper of a snake love this animal to death and I think the contrast between that black and iridescence and that stark white is what makes it look so absolutely ridiculous Mike Connie, did you guys hear about the rainbow that broke the law? No. Turns out he went to prison. Oh my God.
<laughs> no one really knows if the iridescence of an animal or snake actually helps them survive in the wild or not. I'm not really sure what to think about that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. While you're down there, can you do me a favor? Hit that subscription button. Let me know in the comments which snake you think is the most iridescent, most rainbow snake in the entire world. As for now, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, 